Hello, you are welcome again for another interesting lesson that I have prepared for you and I hope that you will enjoy it. And just in case of any question, you are kindly allowed to drop uh, a request in any of our videos and I will be able to respond to that. Now our question today is on cost estimation and the cost accounting and management accounting. And one of the techniques that we have been asked to use is the HILO method to calculate the fixed cost of production. Now, when you talk about cost estimation, we are talking about the prediction of relationship between costs and cost drivers. We are trying to approximate whether there is any association between cost and cost drivers. Cost drivers refers to these items that leads into occurrence of cost. They must be there for a cost to be incurred for any particular production. And then, under estimation of cost, we normally use the historical costs, which are measured to predict the future cost. Now, historical costs are these costs that a particular business had incurred in the past. So they simply use whatever that had been incurred in the past to make a prediction of what is going to be uh, incurred in future instead of making some other new costs which, which have not yet been incurred. Now, when you talk about cost estimation, using the high-end the high-end method, this particular method, we normally follow the normal linear equation. And our normal linear equation, which is famous for every particular mathematical uh, calculations, is the y is equal to a plus bx. Now, when you talk about this particular equation, I just want to illustrate the equation in terms of a par and of a, a graph and be able to explain every item. Like when you have the Cartesian plane, and of course we have the value of y, the value of x. And from our equation, we are told that Makazi Limited had the following data for the six months of 2010 and 11, sorry. So we have months, July to December. Output for every month is given and the total cost that was incurred. So it means the cost incurred for every production level, the cost is dependent on the output. Remember that when, for example, 30 units are produced, it means 68, 10 cost is incurred. So we normally plot the dependent variable on the y-axis. In this case, we're talking about the total cost. And on the x-axis is the independent variable. In this case, we're going to plot the output. So every output unit is dependent upon by the total cost of production. So when you plot this graph, for example, now we have y, we have x. The graph will look like this. Of course, we have the equation of y is equal to a plus bx. Now, our a is normally the value uh, at the y-intercept. So, this one will give us the value of a, which is essentially the y-intercept. When you talk about b, is the gradient of the line. And the gradient of the line measures the changes that will take place to the line. Like in this case, we're talking about the change in y divided by change in x. This one here. We have y1, y0, x1, x0. So y1 minus y0 divided by x1 minus x0 should give us b, which is the gradient. Now, having this one in place, it means that now we have uh, to talk about the high-low method. And high-low method is normally used to uh, estimate values that were incurred 
uh, values that were incurred in the past and we find that these values are categorized into two. We have high values and low activity values. So when we have high level activity costs, so we have we can have high level activity costs and of course again we have low level activity cost remember all costs cannot be incurred at the same level they must be different it means any in between here in between these two levels of cost we have three types of cost which are incurred one we have variable cost these are costs which change according to the level of production we have fixed cost fixed costs are cost which does not change for example rent you will pay rent whether you produce items or not then you have semi variable cost they keep they change at some point they don't change so from the equation you find that our a which is the y intercept is the fixed cost remember when you can you can get the value of b at any particular point along the line but a will always remain the same so our a this cost in this case is the fixed cost variable cost is b and say so variable cost actually is going to differ then you find that after having this one we are supposed to talk about how we can get the total cost now for us to get the total cost for example that is used in production total variable cost which keeps on changing it means that we are supposed to multiply the variable cost per unit times the number of output times number of outputs will give you the total variable cost that was incurred between these two levels of activities. This is the same as the variable cost per unit is supposed to be this one divided by this. Total variable cost divided by number of output in the business organization. But now, how do we get the total variable cost? Again, when you have, we can still have the equation as the variable cost per unit is given by the total variable cost divided by the output units then it means that it means that for you to get the total variable cost between these two levels you talk about the high level activity cost high level activity cost minus the low level activity cost okay divide by how you how do we determine the output units that was that were produced between these two levels it is the uh, it is the number of units the units at high level activity minus the units at low level activity that is essentially how we are going to get those values so it means that this particular uh, method of cost estimation only deals with this particular equation this is what we are going to use in our uh, equation that we have been given now it means that for us to get the va variable cost per unit we are supposed to talk about the high high level activity cost. The, we, we select two values, the cost that were incurred at the high level minus the one that was incurred at the lowest level, which is essentially the highest value here is 7510. 
So it's supposed to be 75, 10, minus the lowest value total cost here is 68, 80, 68, 10, minus 68, 10. Divide by the output units. Now we are here, we have the output. And again, getting the output unit is supposed to be the output at the high level activity minus output at the lowest level activity. That is why it is, it is called the high-low method. So the highest output here is 50. The lowest is again 30. So we have 50 minus 30. So when you subtract these two, you're supposed to have 75, 10, minus 68, 10. We get 700. 700. 50 minus 30 is 20. So divide by 20 is supposed to get 35. <coughs> Remember, this is our variable cost per unit. And from the equation, from equation, y is equal to a plus b x okay we say that b is the variable cost because it keeps on changing like the gradient here keeps on changing a is the fixed cost and we are looking for a so it means essentially we have y and we are going to have y by picking any values any corresponding pairs of values we can choose the 75, 10, and 50 for the output. Remember we said the value of y is the dependent variable on the y-axis, which was the total cost. So we're going to use the highest total cost, which is 75, 10, should be equal to the fixed cost, which we're looking for, plus we now have our b, which is 35, times the vari the independent variable at that level which is 50 which is the value of y that is the output the value of y which is 50 so 75 10 is equal to a plus 35 plus 5 times 50 is supposed to be 1750 1750 so essentially 75 10 minus 1750 should give us uh, should give us a, the value of A. So it means getting A should be 75, 10 minus the answer. We get 50, 7, 60 is equal to A. Now A is our fixed cost fixed cost means now fixed cost of 57 means the value which does not change at any given level of production now it is the y-intercept so when you plot for example these values along the y-intercept it is this value is supposed to be red at this particular point thank you very much and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and in case of any question kindly drop a comment section and i'll be able to respond